Hi, Kamal. Welcome to the banking show again. Uh, WHO has announced the end of uh, global health emergency, and perhaps it is obviously a very good time to look at how RBI tackled uh, the borrowings during these pandemic years. Can you take us through what uh, is it that the RBI did and also set the context for us in comparison to what did the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve do? Thanks, Ujika. Yes, of course, the provocation for writing this column is uh, WHO announcement that uh, COVID, COVID pandemic is history now. Apart from the fact also, it just you know coincided uh, with, the, with the phenomenon of 10-year uh, paper bond yield dropping below 7%. Um, the market's comfort. Uh, so that's that's why I thought let's take a look, take a look closely at what happened during this period and how Reserve Bank of India, the government market banker, has definitely managed the borrowing program. Now look at the borrowing program. You know, in 2020, the borrowing program was 7.1 trillion fiscal year 2020. I'm talking about. Now once we got into uh, the pandemic year. A 2021 fiscal year borrowing was 13.7 trillion. Next year, 2022, it dropped to 11.3 trillion. But very next year, 2023, it rose again to 14 trillion plus 14.2 trillion. And as we speak, this year it's yet another historic high, 15.4 trillion borrowing. So if you combine this last four years borrowing program, it's the it's more than the outstanding borrowing program, total borrowing government outstanding bonds in some uh, 2017 or 2018. So, but where is the yield? As we speak, it's it's less than seven percent. So who got the benefit of the debt handling? Is is the government of India? But despite that such a huge borrowing program, Reserve Bank of India managed it so well. And uh, remember, RBI has not done any OMO, the so-called open market operations through which uh, RBI actually buy government bonds. It has not done so. So it's an extremely, uh, I would say, efficient way of managing the government's huge borrowing. Yes, government is the greatest beneficiary of this. But at the same time, corporate India also got benefit because, as you know, the corporate bonds are also the yield is linked to the government bond. And the, if the spread sinks, which it has done, so which means the best rated corporates also got, get the benefit. So RBI has done pretty well during this time to fight inflation because, uh, you know, this COVID, the, the flood of liquidity and the ultra loose monetary policy. Um, monetary policy came down to its historic low of 4%. Now, RBI has to hike it, and some 4%, as we speak, it has gone up to 6.5%. So that's 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 what Reserve Bank of India has done, but it has not overdone. It has not overdone. It's a pretty deft balancing act that has not done. It's good for the economy and good for the banking system. In contrast to, as you asked me, what's happening in the US, the US, you will find that the rate hike has been much more sharper. As you see, U.S. started hiking the rate before RBI. RBI did it in May 2020. U.S. started before that. In fact, just RBI hiked it just before the second U.S. rate hike, which was 50 basis point. Uh, before that, uh, that's that's how RBI did. So U.S. had to be a much sharper. Had to go for a much sharper rate hike because the U.S. Inflation is also much more entrenched and higher, and it's a 44 decade high. Now, what is it that you would have had RBI do differently? Do you have any criticism as well of what the RBI did? Well, no, yeah, it may sound like all it may sound like all praise for RBI. I know I I do think that RBI could have acted a little faster. I think the first rate hike from 4 to 4.40, which was an off-cycle rate hike just before US Federal Reserve second hike, I'm talking about uh, May to how, uh, May last year, it could have been earlier, you know, because uh, RBI misread the inflation uh, numbers. If you, uh, if you look at, if you take a look at Reserve Bank of India's February monetary policy last year, you know, it was it was pretty bullish uh, on inflation front, on interest rate front. So the criticism, one criticism I have is this, probably 
RBI should have started the rate hiking cycle earlier than what it has done. We are about uh, less than a month away from the next uh, monetary policy. Uh, what is the way going forward? Well, uh, if you look at uh, the last policy, where is the Bank of India's it was a hawkish pause and RBI governor said that don't take comfort, don't see that, even though it was a decision, consistent decision for the for the status quo, but RBI governor repeatedly warned in his post policy statement that uh, we are not a true, it all depends on the on data that is come for, uh, that would be the incoming data, we'll take a look at it. So it was, a, uh, I would say, it was a pretty hawkish uh, status quo, hawkish pause. But as we have seen the April number, I'm pretty convinced that uh, the June policy again will be status quo. Uh, so for all you know, probably we have seen the, uh, we have seen the uh, end of the rate hiking cycle. Probably the 6.5% current rate is the rate um, which RBI would hold on before actually cutting the rate. So, unless, unless there's some dramatic development uh, on the external front. On, ex on the internal front, as I said, as far as Indian economy is concerned, uh, one good good story is this inflation is has come back and it's within the RBI uh, comfort zone, the RBI target uh, band, and it will continue to show because of the high base effect. And secondly, on the rupee front also, we have nothing much to be worried about. Thank you so much, uh, Tamal, for those uh, indications and for all the insights. After three years of pandemic, it is good to know that uh, inflation is in the comfort zone and we don't have to worry on the currency side also that much uh, right now. Uh, thanks again, Tamal. We'll see you next week. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will achieve. Nation's trusted bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.